Russia's preparations for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi are nearly complete, according to government officials, barring some occasional power outages. On a visit to the site, Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev ordered Sochi regional officials to remedy the situation and provide the area with a proper fail-safe electricity supply for the upcoming games. However, power cuts may be the least of the game's worries as a growing group of people are calling for the Olympic Games to be stripped from Russia due to the recent anti-gay legislation passed by the Duma. The controversial law imposes heavy fines for providing information about homosexuality to people under the age of 18. Jewish-British broadcaster Stephen Fry, famed for his dry sense of humor, has appealed directly to the UK's Prime Minister, as well as the International Olympics Committee, in an open letter urging for the Games to be moved. Fry compares Russian President Vladimir Putin to Adolf Hitler, saying he is making scapegoats of gay people, just as Hitler did Jews. Fry isn't the only one critical of Russia's gay propaganda law. Gay bar owners in the United States have begun boycotting Russian vodka in protest. And U.S. President Barack Obama also recently criticized the discriminatory law while on a late-night television talk show. The growing state-sanctioned anti-gay sentiment in Russia has allowed far-right groups to target gays and lesbians for attacks which go unpunished. And security forces have cracked down hard on gay activists. The 2014 Winter Olympics is set to be the most expensive in history, costing over 50 billion U.S. dollars, after the price tag ballooned to more than quadruple initial estimates. The Russian opposition has said corruption has pushed up the price, with businessmen and officials close to Putin having stolen $30 billion intended for Olympic preparations.